call it a celebration of the fact that uh, barriers are in the mind. No Barriers is really designed for everyone. Uh, despite whether they feel they're too slow, too old, too blind, too disabled. Uh, it's for really anybody who dreams big and has a sense of their life as a great adventure. Yeah, yeah. yeah right? Like that. Good. Very good. <laughs> I think I'm mad. <laughs> the 2005 project has even been more fantastic because of the technology that we brought into this area. I feel like, I feel like I'm walking again. Go ahead and turn back around, all the way back around. I use the same socket onto my body with all of the different sorts of legs that I use. There's basically, there's a, a microprocessor inside here as well as a battery. I plug them into the wall every night and the computer makes changes to a hydraulic unit a couple of hundred times a second. It just figures out what I'm doing, how fast I'm walking. Yeah, there's a lot going on with prosthetics, you know, there's the whole interface, there's the technology is, is amazing. This is such an exciting time in history because there's so many core technologies that are now available that if we integrate them together, we'll really see a paradigm shift in this domain of healthcare. We are showing a GPS which is tailored for blind people because it has more speech and braille output. Okay, 27 meters, so we're close. Now it says in the, it says in a voice, arrived at destination, so it's probably this building here. What this technology means is that a blind person can independently find whatever they're interested in, a department store, a bell tower, a restaurant. It doesn't tell me about uh, beautiful women or anything like that, but that's our next model. The most important part of No Barriers is the concept. The concept is viable. We could take this concept anywhere. Uh, we could go around the world and we, can, and we can create opportunities for people, we can motivate people, and we can nudge society forward.